So I'm screwing around with uh, different types of inserts today. Um, got a normal T-nut M8, and I got some uh, insert nuts. These are Type D zinc insert nuts. M6. I got an M8 rivet nut or a riv nut, and these two rivet nut and insert nut. I've never used them before, I don't know anything about them. And I've only used these normal T nuts once for one thing that I did. So I'm just going to play around with them and um, mainly I'm trying to figure out what kind of diameter hole I need to drill for this thing. Um, this one's kind of easy to figure out because it'll only take one size. As will this. Um, these things are a little bit different because there's a taper on them. So I'm going to try and figure out the best way to deal with that taper and just see what happens. Starting with the insert nut, I drilled a 9mm hole and a 10mm hole. And basically I'm just going to see how each one feels when I screw the nut in. Going for the 10mm first. feels kind of loose but it is going in very easily and also it appears to be going in nice and straight okay that's in um, now let's have a look on the back so on the back it's kind of I don't know. It doesn't look too bad. It looks a bit sloppy. There's more. It's closer over. It's closer to this edge than it is to this edge. And uh, that means it's not straight. Let's try the 9mm. Be a little bit tricky to get the 9mm started off, but once it gets going, it should be fine. Okay, well that's not going in easily, and it's not going in straight either. So far I'm not really liking it, but we'll just carry on. Yeah, I mean it just feels really tight, and... Probably in a different kind of wood, it would not be very nice, but on the other side of that, 
She looks real nice. Pretty flush. And obviously very secure. I wouldn't say any more secure than that. So I would probably use uh, I think I would probably go for the 9mm um, because this one here is just too big it's too big at the narrow end of the, the nut um, and it wouldn't be it's not straight it's I don't know, the 9mm. I'll use the 9mm on that. People with OCD? Yes. Like you? Yeah, and like many people. There's a lot of people that have OCD. Right? Yeah, but a lot of people don't care. They're looking at the nuts here and then they can see them fine. How can they concentrate on the nuts when your camera is actually not even really focused on nuts, but nuts are only like slightly to the side? Ah, oh, fine I'm then. Just helping you out. You have like a receipt from the stupid library here or something. Okay, let's clear some space for the video. Yeah. So the next thing I'm going to try is a normal T-nut. This is an M8 T-nut. And it has the four prongs on it which stick into the wood to stop it from spinning. And you end up with a hole in the middle and the four holes for the prongs. Something like this. So. I'm going to size this one up. I think it's about a 10 mil, which I have in the drill right now. So we'll go with that, I think. Right, so I have my 10 mil. Hole. I'm just going to try that for size. Looks good. And so, a couple of ways that I know how to do this are um, one is with a hammer, and I guess hammering it in with some softwood like this piece of pine works fine. Like so. Nothing wrong with that. Okay. And with different types of wood, um, I guess maybe it wouldn't be so easy to hammer it in. Because it wouldn't go in nicely. So this piece of ply here, I don't think I want to try hammering that. I'm pretty sure it's not going to go in nicely. So what I'm going to do is just get drill and drill holes. So I'll put this in first. Where'd that hammer go? Give it a little tap. So I know where to drill the holes. I have four holes here. A couple of mil. couple of mil might not be enough. We'll see. So should be able to hammer this in now. And that went in pretty nicely. So so far we've looked at uh, insert nut and I believe that this nine mil hole was the one it works best for that. 
And over here we have a T-nut. And I believe that this 10 mil hole with 2 mil holes for the prongs works pretty good. And obviously, or maybe not obviously, you would put some uh, epoxy or something in there to stick that in. Otherwise, it's just going to fall out. Um, there's another way around that, which I'll show you in a minute. Um, and this is what I'm eventually going to use this dude for, this riv nut. So let's have a look at that now. So this is actually about 15 mil deep, which is deeper than my piece of 12 mil ply here. But that doesn't matter. I'm going to go and use this piece of wood to show it anyway. This is also an M8 and I kind of had a feeling that 10 mil was too small. Uh, I tried it uh, a couple of days ago and it was too small. 11 mil is the size that you need to get a hole that this will fit into. So let's drill an 11 mil hole here and play around with it a bit. So the rivet nut just goes into the 11 mil hole just like that. Oh, like that. <laughs> there she is, sticking out a bit at the bottom, but who okay. cares? You could also put some glue on this. It's got uh, kind of a newel uh, edge on it to adhere to it. Um, and boom. So, um, the little experiment that I'm uh, wanting to try with this actually involves this guy and this guy together on opposite faces of a piece of wood with a bolt going through which will hold both of them on. So, Therefore, not needing glue on either of these to hold them in place. So let's just try that now and see how it works. I'm going to drill a nine uh, and a, a ten mil through one side of this piece of wood, and an eleven mil through the other side. So I'm just going to put a five mil pilot hole through to start. And then I'm going to enlarge the hole on one side to 10 mil. And I'm going to enlarge it on the other side to 11 mil. Put those two inserts on on opposite sides and see how that works out. So that's what we have so far, and that's going to be the T-nut. Problem we... Hmm, we didn't think about that, did we, mate? Okay, that's cool. Get some nicely. Mm. 
So the T nut goes in nicely, the rev nut goes in nicely, although this piece of wood is too narrow for them. And I can put my nut through and my bolt. And it goes through both of them. So I'm planning to use this idea with a piece of rod. So this this thing here will be the, the wall, like the box, the side of the box or whatever it is. Um, and I want this rod to reach uh, somewhere over there and it will be held in place nicely by this rev nut and this T nut. So different types of inserts and I've played around with um, three of them so that's what I have uh, M8 rivnut nut needs an 11 mil hole M6 insert nut needs a 9 mil hole and an M8 T nut needs a 10 mil hole alright see you later